Good morning, Mental Nerds. It's Rob here, and I want to talk about two different topics today and see if I can squeeze it into uh, squeeze it into four minutes. First of all, I wanted to respond a little bit to uh, something that Darnell had mentioned and that Rachel had uh, commented on in the Men and Nerds Facebook group. It seems to be that there is a stigma applied to uh, conservative Christianity in the United States today, either within the secular public or even within uh, the larger uh, body of Christians in the country. Conservative Christians are seen as bigoted, as seen as closed-minded, as seen as backwards, unintelligent, doubtful of science, doubtful of any number of things. They were highly criticized, um, highly spoofed, lampooned, and mocked in many, many ways. And honestly, I'm kind of with Darnell. I think that's a bad thing. I think we really, really need to stop with some of the 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 hyperbole and um, rhetoric that we use to apply to Christians that we disagree with, and that's whether or not you are a more progressive Christian uh, critiquing conservative Christians or vice versa. We can disagree on topics. We can disagree on any number of interpretation ideas and such within Scripture, but I think it is very much in violation of the idea of the love of brother and sister in Christ if we are spending so much time time denouncing one another and putting one another down and not enough time trying to find ways in which we can work together for God's kingdom in this world. I think we need to re-examine some of our priorities in that respect. And secondly now, um, I wanted to express uh, a little something about what I experienced last night. Um, m many of you know that I am kind of apolitical in many ways. I do not get myself involved in a lot of politics, whether it's national, local, state, or whatever. Um, voting is not a high priority for me. However, I did spend some time last night at our local borough council meeting because, well, we're having a problem with cats in our in our uh, uh, neighborhood. In that we have a neighbor in our um, in our area who has an excess of sixteen cats that uh, wander around his property. Now, those of you who know about cats, that means they're not just staying on his property; they're on everybody else's property. And every flower garden is a litter box, and every backyard is a place where you can <clears throat> have fun with your mate and make more kittens. And the more kittens you have, the more mess you get, and so on. So we were. Myself and several other uh, uh, neighbors were at the borough meeting last night to find out what the council can do about this one neighbor. Who had and I found myself in a unique position in which I am one of the complainants, one of the people who has uh, experienced problem with all these cats. But I was defending him at the council meeting, basically pointing out that, yes, this gentleman does have a lot of cats, but some of them he really loves and has a strong emotional attachment to. And while we have our complaints and we have our problems with him, we cannot forget his humanity. And we need to make sure that anything that we do when it, with regards to his, uh, with his cats and with his uh, activities, that we cannot forget his humanity. He is a human being. He has emotions. He has needs and desires. If we discount that and just go hog wild and destroy his cats without any regard to his own emotional health, then it's not justice either. Not justice for us and not justice for him. So I needed to find myself in a very strange position of defending my enemy. And that goes back to that conversation on labels and other Christians. When is it that we have to defend our enemies? When do we take the time to be able to say, yes, I disagree with you, but I defend your right to be in disagreement. I defend your right to have a different opinion. Maybe we need to take a little bit more time to examine how we can support one another and stand up for one another rather than putting each other down. And that's just my thoughts for this Wednesday morning. Hope you guys have a great day.